update from Spain as I haven't done one for a while. Um, mainly headaches with the van give me the frustrations at the moment. The problem I've had is the van is something I rely on severely. So when it's playing up, it sort of puts everything else on hold. Um, we've resolved it now. We've resolved it today and it's just like a big weight just being lifted. Because when you know there's something wrong and it's something simple, you're just like, what is it? What is it? It just plays on your mind all the time. So I was glad to actually get that fixed and up and running again. Um, big things this week. Yeah, Ubi is now having lunches at school. Um, may not sound a big thing for you, but it's he doesn't like a lot of food. So it's quite an interesting thing. He's, today was his first day, and he basically ate a yogurt, and then you know they're like he didn't eat any of the food, and I expected it, but we'll wait and see. The only thing I, that's a bit expensive is it costs four pound uh, four euros fifty a day for his meals, uh, which I find is a bit expensive for a, a young kid that hardly eats. <laughs> um, not that he hardly eats; he's just a he hardly is at the school. Uh, but uh, that, that's been ongoing. The, um, the wholesale stuff's here. Um, I'll put a link because we've actually got a Facebook group with it at the moment. We're still trying to work out where we're going with it because we've got the first batches in. We've got two um, trailer loads. Well, it was a sprinter van, long wheelbase, high wheel, high top, big van, full of stuff. And it was all sold in one go. Um, we got another load in, and it's different type of type of stuff. Um, and the guy that bought the first batches is talking about buying everything. The downside from this is I didn't get the first. The guy that was buying everything, so there's no profit in it for me. Um, but there's other stuff available um, where there may be an opportunity, because. We we got some I think it's about three or four companies that want to move into Europe, and if we have a warehouse here, then I would end up managing and running the warehouse, and gives me a good office space for sales etc to develop that business plus other businesses, because um, they're going to need somebody there to deal with the trucks coming in and out, um, so it could end up with a full time job in there looking after the trucks. Not my perfect role, but as I've said before, I'm not really fussed about money. It's more about sustainability because I make money when things are sustainable. It's when I do my surveying and stuff, I'm full-time. I can't do anything but survey. But with this sort of stuff, you get in two, three hours between trucks or whatever. It's, it's not really, you know, I can do more productive stuff while the trucks are out and about. Um, so from from that side, it's more beneficial long term because I can develop ideas. Um, I've got software going on with the the facilities management stuff. That's actually coming together. I've got a, a meeting on Monday relating to that um, because that could be a new business venture, which could be a something we can roll out globally. Um, so I'm waiting to see on that because that's still early days on it. Um, but we already have a client that's interested in buying it. Um, what else have we got going? Um, got somebody wanting to open a recycling plant in Spain um, for just general recycling. Looking into that. Uh, what else have we got going on? I haven't been out much. I know people have been saying, Matt, go and get video stuff. Firstly, the van's been playing up. But it was only the last couple of days. We haven't had strong winds here. It hasn't been raining. It's just been too windy to do anything. But it's only the last two days that the winds dropped down and the sun's come up. So we're back into the good Spanish weather. Because it's been pretty naff. It's been overcast and stuff. Still better than the UK. Because, I mean, we were 26 degrees here um a couple of days ago when it was zero when my parents are <laughs> zero degrees so although our weather's not been fantastic we don't have any heating on we don't need any heating but it's just it's been windy um but besides all that that's pretty much up, up to date not a lot's happened um because a lot of stuff's been waiting on other things going on and like i said the van sort of sidetracked me for a couple of well about a week and a bit 
um, with bits and pieces, researching what the faults could be, how to fix it, etc., etc. Um, but that's now fixed now. So going forward, I can start looking at what's next on the list. Um, so gonna start hammering the wholesale stuff. Like I said, I'll put a link so you want to see the sort of stuff we've got. Um, one of the things we do have is the disposable gloves, you know, the big boxes. We've got about as many containers of it as you want. Um, depending on how many you're buying, depends on the price. But if you can find a buyer for those, one of the things with those things is they're disposable. So once you've got a buyer, they'll be buying off you every month. Well, that's one of the upsides of that sort of stuff is that you keep selling it over and over again. Um, there is no real downside. It's just finding the clients. Once you got them, that's it. Money made. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Got Zoe's birthday next week. Um, but beyond that, that's pretty much as up to date. Thanks for watching. Apologies if you get bored. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot else happening.